Vegas and Las Vegas for 30 years. Want some to drink? Charlie, you want a refill? Yeah, a refill would be great. No, I don't want to. Hey, Mr. Clark, how you doing? I've been trying to reach you. You're tougher to get than the president. Well, I've been busy. <laughs> yeah, the least you could do is return my phone calls, though. Listen, Nikki, we talked about this. And uh, I explained to you that there was the possibility you might have to take some kind of loss. Yeah. I think I want my money back. <laughs> what are you going to do, strong arm me? <laughs> you know, I think that you got the wrong impression about me. I think in all fairness, I should explain to you exactly what it is that I do. For instance, tomorrow morning, I'll get up nice and early, take a walk down over to the bank and walk in and see you. And uh, if you don't have my money for me, I'll crack your fucking head wide open in front of everybody in the bank. And just about the time that I'm coming out of jail, hopefully, you'll be coming out of your coma. And guess what? I'll split your fucking head open again. Because I'm fucking stupid. I don't give a fuck about jail. That's my business. That's what I do. And we know what you do, don't we, Charlie? You fuck people out of money and get away with it. You can't talk to me like Hey, that. you fat Irish prick. You put my fucking money to sleep. You go get my money or I'll put your fucking brain to sleep. Sam. Oh, my fucking Sam, this is personal. I'll be there in the morning. You can fucking try me, fatso. You fucking try me. You think you got the point? What are you doing? 